Hello everyone. This is me, Jonathan, with Cyber U Bell, Billy and John Jet. And today I'm going to do a topic that has been well discussed upon during the early 2000s. The show called Candle Cove. One of the most popular creepy pastas that served the web. This it's clearly based on a real show. There's tons of proof to back it up, such as images from the pilot, there's um, summaries of the actual episodes, and there's a whole Wikipedia page based on it. And there's we real images of some characters, such as um, Calvary Stankoff um, or um, Bloody Kimothy. So, you can basically prove that this is a real show. Other than one image that is fake on the wiki of hmm, what it says is Jazz being propelled through the doghouse, but it's actually a picture taken from a show called Lidsville. But other than that, the other images are real. And if you see an image of and Pirate Percy on the laughing stock, the ship says on the side, laughing stock. And it has a picture of a mask on the front. And he matches up with the description of the actual Pirate Percy. So you can basically tell that this is a real show. But some think that it is not because two things. One, people think that the screaming episode is fake, but it's confirmed that uh, Emerson Grimes, the director of Candle Cove, had used not the real puppets from the show, and the real actress of Janice was not present in the show, so there's a baby playing Janice. And that was some good acting for her to be crying. But anyway, you can basically, and people say that's fake because you can get, you can hear the sound in the suicidemouse.abi video, and you can find them on freesound.org if you search Psycho Scream 1, Psycho Scream 2, and Psycho Scream 3. And you can find, but you can find real images of the actors on the Wikipedia, so you can tell that it is not fake. Plus, people think that's not real because a creepypasta was made about it by a man named Chris Straub. Which he's trying to basically say that he came up with Candle Cove when there was a real show based off of it. So, and the merchandising for this show was not good. Apparently they only released a set of, they released plastic swords for the show, and they made some books that can't be found because of the age of the show, since it came out in the early 70s. But still, this is clearly a real show. One, there are tons of, there is tons of proof, and you can actually find a clip from the episode showing a pirate with a mustache on a ship with people clapping, like how there were people crap clapping in the actual pic that had Percy on the laughing stock with hands in the air about to clap. So you can tell that it is obviously real and Chris Straub is just trying to take credit. But listen, they didn't have that good merchandising probably because they weren't able to sign up with any toy companies to make toys. I would be dying to get a Pirate Percy toy. But, here's a question. Any of you out there who had anything to do with Candle Cove, please, please tell me in the comments section if you any of you out there had anything to do with the show, please contact us. So, I'm going to make a 
little fan film series, the complete season one, season two of Candle Cove, fan film style. So that's coming really soon, but until then, I'm Jonathan K. Bye. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe.